Okay, so let's understand a concept called as frequency reuse. Actually, we had seen it, but uh, let me just uh, give you a few more points to understand it. So you see, uh, we talked about cells, but now we have something called as clusters. Let me draw it for you. This is one cell. This is another cell. Other cell. Another one. I hope you are getting it. Okay, so this is the cell. Uh, so th these all are individually they are cell and we call this complete thing as cluster. Cluster or honeycomb. Okay, so this is a cluster on a honeycomb. Now we have to plan our frequencies or allocate our frequencies into the cells so that they never interfere with each other. So see, I am going to plan here. So this cluster and keep that in mind that this cluster is made up of three frequencies. So this is a cluster of three. Cluster of three. You can calculate your clusters like seven, nine, whatever you want. So F1, F2, and F3, these are the three frequencies that we need to allocate into inside this cluster of three. So I'll put my F3 here, then F1, then F2, again F1, again F2, again F1, and again F2. You see, this arrangement doesn't have the interference problem. Why? Because adjacent frequencies are completely disjoint, are completely different. So that's why this system doesn't have any no doesn't have any interference. So there is no interference at all. Can you see this? This is easy, right? So this is the kind of frequency reuse that we need to see. Now let's understand one more concept. I hope I'm not going very fast, but uh, that is the thing we need to understand. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's understand in the cellular system one more, uh, one more thing. That is the geometry. Geometry of hexagon. Why hexagon? Because we are looking after the, uh, the cells. Right, and the the basic or the theoretical shape we had taken is hexagon. So your hexagon looks like this. It is having six triangles. I hope you can see. This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have six sides or six triangles inside one hexagon. It is made up of six triangles, right? Now I am taking this particular side or this particular triangle in an elongated way. And I'll, I'll, I'll precisely put that triangle in, in this way. Okay. So this is my triangle. Let me, let me give a name here. This is B, this is C, and this is going to be X. So this is going to be C, this is going to be B, and this is going to be X. These are the three points. Okay. And let's say all are equilateral triangle as that's why the sides are completely equal. So this is, if this is one, then this is also one. And this is also, this is, this complete thing is also one. But now triangle needs some partition and we provide this partition with the help of right angle or 90 degree, right? So that means this, this side from this side to this side and from this side to this side is going to be one half, right? One half, one half. When you plus it, it will becomes one, right? And that's why, that's why we had written one here. I hope you understand it. Now let's understand the surface area of this hexagon, how to calculate it. So I will write it down here, surface area. How to calculate it? Surface area. How, how to calculate it is with the help of, uh, see, we have one, by, uh, one half here, one here, but we don't have this measurement. We don't have it. You can actually calculate it with the help of Pythagoras theorem. You can, you can easily calculate it. You put one square here. Let me, let me, uh, let me just give a name here. This is my y. Okay. So one here, then give you one minus one divided by two square. And this is going to be y square. So if you calculate it, it is going to be 4 minus 1 divided by 4 equals to y square. When you put this square it is, on the left hand side, it is going to be square root. So this is going to be 3 by 4 square root equals to y. And then if you if you if you more calculate it, it is going to be root 3 divided by 2 equals to y. So your y distance is going to be this is going to be root 3 by 2. So let me again redraw here and redraw here. So now what I have is this distance is going to be root 3 divided by 2 
this is 1 divided by 2, 1 divided by 2, and this is 1, and then this 1. This is my x, b, and c. Now, we need to calculate surface area. How can I calculate it? Let me again rephrase it. Sorry for the, uh, I'm, I'm redrawing it, but uh, so this is root 3 by 2. This is 1 half. This is 1 half. And now, let me give each side a name. So, this particular side is having S. Let me call it as S. This particular side, let me call it as S. This particular side is S by 2 and S by 2. Okay. And so, this distance is also going to be root 3 divided by S. This is the distance. So, let me, let me just call it as distance equals to S. Now, if I calculate here surface area, uh, just not the surface area let me let me call the area of triangle here area of triangle b x c that means it having a formula of half base into height so you easily can calculate it half base we have one because this complete thing we are calculating b x c okay so this is your b this is your c and this is your x if you see here all are same so this is going to be one one and one so this is one half one half okay one half s this is my s so this this thing this complete thing bc this is your base and it is s and height is going to be root 3 divided by 2 into s so if you calculate it if you calculate it what will happen it is it will come it out root 3 s square divided by 4 so this is the area but now if you see your hexagon has, your hexagon has, let me write it down, hexagon has six sides. Can you see this? We have six sides, right? So, for the complete hexagon, I have to calculate six sides. So, that's why we have six cross root three divided by four S square. And this particular thing is going to be your surface area. Can you see this? So, this is your surface area of hexagon surface area of hexagon okay so you can calculate you can actually actually you can minimize it minimize it will lay it will take like 3 take 3 divided by uh, root 3 divided by 2 s square this is a i mean minimization of this particular formula this is also surface area of hexagon so you have this surface area of hexagon and it will it will precisely help you in the theoretical network planning frequency allocation, frequency reuse uh, numericals and many more uh, in many more places. Okay. I hope you understand it. Uh, so, <clears throat> so thank you so much for listening to me and we will see the next concept as distance between cell centers. Okay. Thank you so much for listening to me.